Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In the previous sessions, we have looked into quadratic equations, how to solve them using factorization, splitting the middle terms, or using completing the squares method and quadratic formula. Now in this session, let's try to understand, if I know a quadratic equation, what can I say about the nature of the roots? Can I say by looking at ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero, can I say that these roots are real and equal or they are real and distinct or the roots are not existing it's imaginary how to do that for that we'll just piggy bank on the quadratic formula and we'll take it forward from there extend a little bit to do a little bit of analysis now what we know from quadratic formula we know that x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a or can I write it as minus b by 2a plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now suppose you want to say what is the nature of the roots we know we have two values here right now can you tell me when when x both values will become equal when both values will become equal when this term will become zero if this term becomes zero then x value will be nothing but minus b by 2a plus zero minus zero that means both of them will be the same only when this will become zero this will become 0 when b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, then both the roots of the quadratic equation are equal. Now let us say suppose this, this whatever we have square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a that is not equal to 0. If that is not equal to 0, that means it is some non-zero value then both the roots will be different because it's like 5 I am having plus or minus 2 so one will give me 5 plus 2 the other one will give me 5 minus 2 so I will have 7 comma 3 that means the roots are real and distinct in this case in this case we are talking about where b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 now there is another case where b square minus 4ac is less than 0 in that case we don't know square root of a negative number so it is not a real value so we will say that the roots are not existing so let's summarize this and just do some examples on this we call b square minus 4ac as discriminant because that determines or it decides whether how the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation will be we know that if d is greater than 0 then the real roots are nature of the roots are real and unequal or can I say distinct unique they both are separate if b square minus 4ac equal to 0 then roots are real and equal because b square minus 4ac by 2a becomes 0 your root is nothing but minus b by 2a roots are real and also equal now what happens if d is less than 0 if d is less than 0 roots are imaginary or can we say roots does not exist in real domain roots are imaginary so if we have been given a quadratic equation then what we can do we can look at the ABC values then we can find out the discriminant and check how is the discriminant value is it greater than 0 equal to 0 or less than 0 if it is greater than 0 the roots are real and distinct if it is equal to 0 roots are real and equal if it is less than 0 then we know roots are imaginary so using this we can easily find out whether is it feasible for a particular situation to have the solution or not so let's look at some simple examples quadratic equations to see what is the nature of their roots 
टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स एक्स प्लस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ टेल मी वॉट सी एयर ए इज इक्वल टू टू वॉट इज बी बी इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स सी इज हाउ मच सी इज थ्री नाउ वॉट आई हैव टू डू टू फाइंड आउट द नेचर ऑफ रूट आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्क्रिमिनेट वॉट इज डिस्क्रिमिनेट बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी सो लेट सब्सटीट्यूट एंड फाइंड आउट द वैल्यूज डी इक्वल टू बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी b is minus 6 so minus 6 whole square minus 4 into a 2 into c is 3 that's nothing but 36 minus 24 which is equal to 12 now what's the value of d now d is greater than 0 that means the roots are real and distinct so in this particular case 2x square minus 6x plus 3 equal to 0 roots are real and distinct let's do one more let's look at this one 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 equal to 0 again what is my a a is 3 b is minus 4 root 3 and c equal to 4 to find out the nature of roots i have to find out the discriminant so d is equal to b square minus 4ac what is b b is minus 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 into a 3 into c is 4 that's nothing but 4 root 3 whole square is 16 into 3 minus 4 into 3 into 4 is nothing but 48 which is 48 minus 48 that is equal to 0 so we are going into second category where the discriminant is zero so the roots are real and equal in this particular case let's look at one more 2x square minus 3x plus 5 equal to zero again let's write down a equal to 2 b equal to minus 3 c equal to 5 to find out the nature of roots i have to find out discriminant discriminant is b square minus 4ac d equal to b square minus 4ac what is the value of b minus 3 so minus 3 whole square minus 4 into a into a is 2 and c equal to 5 so that's nothing but 9 minus 40 which is equal to minus 31 so it is negative less than 0 or can i say negative if it is less than 0 then the roots are imaginary so this equation have imaginary roots so now let's look into some examples where we have to find out the value of k given a condition that that particular quadratic equation should have equal roots okay let's look into a different type of example now let's look at this example friends we have been given if a minus p into x square plus b minus c into x plus c minus a equal to zero, which is a quadratic equation uh, whose roots are equal. We have to prove that to be equal to a plus c. Okay. So to start with, we know that if roots are equal, what's the meaning of that discriminant equal to zero? So let's find out now what is discriminant. Discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. What's a here? A is nothing but a minus b. What is b? B is b minus c. What is c? C is c minus a. So substituting the formula, we will get d equal to b square. That is nothing but b minus c whole square minus four into a minus b into c. Nothing but c minus a. Is equal to zero. Now we have to simplify this condition, and we have to prove that to be is equal to a plus c. So there are two ways to do that. Let's first try in one way. We try to simplify this. Can I say b square plus c square minus two b c minus four into a minus b into c minus a a c minus a square. Minus b c plus a b equal to zero. Or can I write it as b square plus c square minus two b c multiply with four will have minus four a c will have plus four a square then will have plus four b c then will have minus four a b. Now can we simplify this? Yes, we can certainly simplify this because 
This is in the form of a plus b plus c whole square. L let me show you how it is. This is b whole square plus c whole square. Then we will not touch this one. I will write down here 2a whole square. Then I have here 2 into b into c. I can simplify this minus 2 plus 4. I can make it as plus 2bc. So this is plus 2bc. Then I have minus here for both of them. So I know c is there. I know b is there. But what about this? This should be minus because both of them are becoming minus. So this is nothing but 2 into c into minus 2a. And this is 2 into b into minus 2a. So this is nothing but b square plus c square a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. This is nothing but of the formula a plus b plus c whole square. What's the formula we are talking about? The formula we are talking about is a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. That's a formula. So this whole thing which is equal to 0 can be written as b plus c minus 2a whole square equal to 0. Now if b plus c minus 2a whole square is 0 then b plus c minus 2a is 0. That means b plus c is equal to 2a. That is what we have to prove or nothing but 2a equal to b plus c. It's actually I have written it wrong. It is 2a equal to b plus c. That is what we have to prove. We can do this in another way also. Let's look into that option also. Other way how will we do is we just expand this and say b minus c whole square minus we just open this up like earlier nothing but 4 into ac minus a square minus bc plus ab equal to 0 I just open it up it's nothing but b minus c whole square minus 4 into can I say that is minus 4ac plus 4a square minus 4bc plus or minus 4ab minus 4ab. Now let's try to simplify this. Simplify this. We will have b minus c whole square then when you multiply you have this is plus 4bc minus 4ac plus 4a square plus 4bc. So b minus c whole square plus 4bc is nothing but b plus c whole square. Then after that I have plus 4a square. I will leave it there. Then after that I have minus 4ac minus 4ab. So can I take minus 4a common there. If I take minus 4a common, that's nothing but 4a into b plus c plus 4a square equal to 0. What I have done? b minus c whole square plus 4bc is nothing but b plus c whole square. Then 4a square we have left it. Minus 4ac minus 4ab. I can take 4a common. I have b plus c. Now this is nothing but x square minus 4ax plus 4a square. Now that's a quadratic equation in terms of b plus c. So now how to solve x square minus 4ax plus 4a square? That is nothing but x minus 2a whole square equal to 0. Just a direct algebraic identity or nothing but x equal to 2a. But what is our x here? x is b plus c. Therefore b plus c is equal to 2a. So this is another way of solving it. One way is you just check it in the formula a plus b plus c whole square. Another way is make it as a quadratic equation in terms of b plus c. Make it as a quadratic equation in terms of b plus c. So we can 
say that x square minus 4a x plus 4a square nothing but x minus 2a whole square x equal to 2a or b plus c is equal to 2a. Let's do one more problem before we wind this up. We have been given a quadratic equation. We have to find out the value of k given that this quadratic equation have equal roots. We have been given that this quadratic equation have equal roots. We have to find out what's the value of k. So we know the drill. What we have to do whenever it is equal roots, we have to find out the discriminant. Discriminant d is given by b square minus 4ac and we have been told equal roots. Therefore, b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. What is a? k plus 4. What is b? k plus 1. What is c? 1. Let's substitute. Discriminant equal to b square k plus 1 whole square minus 4 into a is k plus 4 into c 1 is equal to 0. So expand this k square plus 2k plus 1 minus 4 into k plus 4 is equal to 0. Or can I say k square plus 2k plus 1 minus 4k minus 16 equal to 0. Or k square minus 2k minus 15 equal to 0. Now by this time you know very pretty much that's nothing but k minus 5 into k plus 3 equal to 0. k square minus 2k minus 15 equal to 0 or nothing but k equal to 5 or k equal to minus 3. So we'll try to solve some more examples on nature of roots in the coming session but that's about quadratic equations and nature of roots. So to summarize when we have a quadratic formula x is given by minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a the most important factor is to the discriminant or b square minus 4ac that determines whether the roots are real and equal real and unequal and also it is imaginary what it is depends upon b square minus 4ac so that's why it is called as discriminant if its value is greater than 0 then the roots are real and distinct or real and unequal if the value of b square minus 4ac equal to 0 then the roots are real and equal if the value of discriminant b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then the roots are imaginary so that's about quadratic equations and nature of roots i'll catch you again in the next session thanks for your time and support bye for now